take a pay cut or we replace you. Potentially what we saw from C9 earlier this year. So we'll keep an eye out on uh, that. Before we get into this, uh, Buccio, as the person that kind of started this rivalry, I'm going to give you the platform to talk your truth. You earned it. Um, Here we go. To be honest, it feels amazing because um, I think they are a really good team, but uh, we ended up just destroying them. And um, I defended my honor, and I did it for America. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you did indeed. You did indeed. Uh, let's talk about your chamber. Been a, been a minute. How, how was that? Um, I played really bad that map. Um, what can you do? I IGL. Um, sometimes it happens. Can't shoot back. But um, I mean, we won the series. That's all I care about, to be honest. Yeah, that's all that matters. But when it comes to uh, you know the fact that you guys changed a couple of comms, you know we saw some of the lock-in stuff that came mm -hmm. back out again. Mm -hmm. uh, how long have you had to prep this? When were you kind of expecting to whip all these new changes out? Um, for the Yoru, we actually been prepping for a long time, like oh. right after Tokyo. But we were gonna save it for playoffs because. You know, an important match like this, and then um, the chamber comp we swapped probably last week, and um, yeah, it's working. Uh, what was the reason for Demon 1 on Astro? I don't think many people expected that. I'm gonna be honest, he just, he doesn't like opping sometimes, so I was like, I like opping, and I used to play chamber. If you feel comfortable on Astro and want to do it, then I'll play chamber. And I've been playing KJ for so long, I'm kind of tired of it. Ah. So I kind of wanted to play Chamber, and it just, you know, didn't work out, but it's fine. Uh, change of scenery, I guess. Change of scenery. Yeah. Uh, you guys are on a hot streak right now, because as you know, the second play place curse is quite strong. Uh, mm -hmm. Usually when you come second in the previous not tournament. Real. Yeah, there we go. You guys have broken that. Yeah. Uh, you're looking great here at playoffs. You're guaranteed top six already. Do you feel like there is any other teams in this tournament that can touch you, that can challenge you? Um, for one, we're all, we are going to destroy DRX. I'm almost positive. <laughs> we're feel, feeling very confident. And uh, for teams, Loud's looking very strong. I think Fnatic's still probably the best team in the world, even though it was a rough series. So Fnatic and Loud, I'm pretty scared of, but we're ready for DRX. Yeah, you're ready, yeah. you're ready. Uh, I think a lot of teams are showing you a lot of respect. You know, EDG even banned Fracture today, yeah. even though they play Fracture. But I think teams, they just, they just don't want to go there no. uh, against you, which I feel like is a very different narrative if you compare it to yeah, Tokyo. Yeah, Tokyo. So how does that feel to earn that kind of respect? It feels amazing. And yeah, I think teams just realize don't play us on Fracture or you're going to lose. Um, and it just feels good to like have a map that good and teams, pro teams, that scared to play it against us. Yeah, why do you think that people are scared of you? I know you guys, you know, you like to talk a lot, you like to give it, mm -hmm. but what is it about you guys that makes you scary? Mm -hmm. I just think we're just having more fun than everyone else, to be honest. I mean, all of us just come up from nothing, and it's been amazing playing in Tokyo and playing here. It's a dream come true, and uh, we're just here for a good time. Yeah, we're here to see that as well. Yeah, come definitely. on, one more time, one more time. <laughs> Thank you very much.